Hello all, my name is Prash Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, we are going to see how we can actually build a conversational Q&A chatbot with the help of Gemini Pro API. Not only that, we'll also try to save all this chat in the form of a history and we'll also display all the results that we all had a conversation about. That is the reason we are discussing about conversational Q&A chatbot. So before I go ahead, guys, we will keep the tar like target of this specific video to 1000 so that I will definitely get motivated and I'll try to bring more similar kind of projects for every one of you out there. Now, before I go ahead, please let me go and go ahead and show you the demo. So this is how the demo, demo will look like. So if I ask hi, you can probably see I will be getting the answer, the response. How can I assist you today? The chat history is I have asked hi. Bot says hi, hello, how can I assist you? So let's say if I go ahead and ask what is generative AI? Okay, all the previous information I really need to record it somewhere, right? So let's see after this, the chat history right now is this much, right? So generative AI also known as so and so all the information is coming up. And after that, your chat history will also get updated. And the best thing is that I'm streaming all this specific data. Okay, so how streaming actually works and all we'll also be discussing about that. So here you can see in the history, I've asked what is generative AI and this is specifically all the information. Now, this is what we are going to implement step by step. I'll show you each and everything again, all the files regarding this, all the code regarding this will be given in the description of this particular video. So let me go ahead and let me solve this specific project. So guys, I have opened my VS code over here. And right now, uh, if you remember in my previous video, I've discussed about all these things like vision.py, how you can actually play with images with the help of Gemini API. Gemini Pro API, then we also discussed about some kind of simple Q&A chatbot. Now in this video, I am going to show you this entire code with respect to this QA chat.py. So here is what is my entire code I'm going to specifically write. Step by step, I'll try to show you what all things is basically required. As usual, first of all, we need to have an environment file with respect to Google underscore API key. This you can actually get it from makesuit.google.com. So from there, which will basically provide you all the features to create the API key for Gemini Pro. The first thing is env file. Once we create the env file, then we will go ahead and start implementing our code. If you have not seen all the videos in my Gemini playlist, I would suggest go ahead and have a look. So let me quickly light over there all the code. So first of all, I will go ahead and uh, load all the environment variables. So for this, I will use for dot env um, import load underscore dot env okay and then we will go ahead and initialize load underscore dot env and finally i'm going to import streamlet as st so i'm going to use streamlet over here and remember one thing guys there are some important libraries that you need to install that is present in the requirement.txt everything will be provided in the description of this particular video the github code right so i'm going to use streamlet Google Generative AI and Python.env. All this library needs to be installed before I head, right? So I'm importing streamlet as st. Then I will go ahead and import OS because I will be requiring it, and then I will say import Google dot Generative AI as Gen AI. Okay, so I'm going to use this library only for doing all my task. Now, initially, whenever we load any environment key, first of all, we need to set this in my gen AI. So for doing that, I will write gen AI dot configure. Configure is a method where it will be asking for the API key that I have. And since I've already loaded that from my environment variable, so you can see that OS dot get env, I'm using this Google API key. Okay. Now the next thing over here, I will try to create a function, function to load Gemini Pro model. Okay. So here you can probably see Gemini Pro Gemini Pro model and get response. Okay, so I'm doing this and here you have model dot gen AI dot generative model. I'm going to initialize my generative model itself. And in this case also, I'm going to use Gemini Pro. Okay, so Gemini Pro and Gemini Pro vision. For conversational Q&A, we will specifically be using this one that is called as Gemini Pro. Okay, and then <clears throat> we will go ahead and execute it and write chat model dot start underscore chat. And here I'm going to specifically use history. 
okay so this history will also maintain all the things that we are probably going to uh, have in our conversation but i will show you another way where i'll use the power of streamlit to store all the history in a form of a session later on you can also put that inside your db or you can also use it from your session itself right uh, so first of all let me go ahead and define my definition so here i will basically write definition get gemini underscore response response and inside this response i will specifically give my question whatever question we have asked so this function should basically uh, you know give me the response that i'm getting from the generative model itself like from the gemini pro right so this question i will send it to my llm model and then i will specifically get the response so here i'm going to write response chat dot send underscore message and here i'm going to basically write question stream is equal to true okay so stream is equal to true because as the llm model is giving you the output we are going to stream it and we are going to display it right and then we will go ahead and return the response so once this response is basically coming this response is nothing but it is the output right when we specifically get response.txt now we are going to initialize our streamlit app for initializing it what we are going to do is that i'm going to use these three fields one is the q a demo gemini llm application page config and header it is very much common the most important thing is that if i really want to record the history part right the history of the conversation we will initialize session state so in streamlit it provides you session states for chat history if it does not exist so i'm saying if chat underscore history not in session state then we will go ahead and create a session state and we'll write chat underscore history over here so right now it is blank as soon as we have any conversation later on we will try to record all those we'll try to put all those conversation inside this particular session state that is what we are going to look at then in the next step we are going to basically say input is equal to st dot text underscore input and here i'm going to basically use input input and here we are basically going to write key is equal to input okay so input will be my variable name in short whatever text box i'm specifically using along with this i'm going to also use a submit button <clears throat> st dot button and here i'm going to basically write ask <coughs> the question okay so what i have actually done i have initialized my session okay session state so we have that the name of the session state is chat history okay now if i click on submit or input right basically both the fields input should also be filled okay so if both this satisfies both this condition satisfies then what i will do i will write i will go ahead and call my get gemini response and here i'm going to basically give my input whatever input i am probably giving it now as soon as it calls this function it is going to get that message and it goes to get that response okay now the next thing is that add user query and response to session chat history now see as soon as i probably have created this input this is what is my input that a user has given and this is what is the output that we have got right <clears throat> now what i am actually going to do here for all this entire history right we are going to save this in our chat underscore history session state so for that we will go ahead and write st dot session state okay st dot session state and here we are going to basically use chat underscore history okay chat underscore history and i'm going to dot append with this specific let's say i'm going to write you basically you who's sending the message <clears throat> and then i'm going to basically use input okay so i am storing all this session inside this particular u variable okay and finally <clears throat> i will get my response also so let me write over here st dot subheader and here i will write a statement saying that the response is the response is and 
in short, I have to probably display the response. Now understand one thing. <coughs> we used something called a stream is equal to true. That basically means this entire response can, without getting the entire content, can also be populated in whatever pages we want to probably display, right? What do, what do I mean is that, now my process did not have to wait for the entire content to come from LLM. So as LLM is sending text data, whatever response it is basically sending, it is going to display it in the front end screen. Okay, so that is what we are basically looking at. So now I'm going to write from chunk in response. See, that is the reason when we write stream is equal to true. Okay, that basically means we get the excess of all the streaming data. And then we can write a for loop and I'm saying from chunk in response. And here I write st dot write and we will go ahead and write chunk dot text. So we are displaying the text part by part. And along with this, I will go ahead and append this entire response. Okay. And here, instead of writing you, I will write bot. Okay. And inside this, instead of writing input, I will go ahead and write my entire chunk dot text. So what I'm actually doing is that as soon as I get the response, it is coming in the streaming manner. We are displaying it. And accordingly, we are also appending in this chat underscore history. Okay. Now this is perfect. This is done. And finally, what I will do is that I will just go ahead and create my history because I need to display all the history, right? So here I will go ahead and write the chat history is okay. So this is what I am going to basically implement. And, <clears throat> and here I will say for role comma, I will create two common variables in st dot session state. And here I'm going to use my chat underscore history. Okay. <clears throat> chat underscore history. And whatever is there, it is either in the key value pairs, you colon bot colon some kind of answers. Here I'm going to basically write st dot write. I'll use a F one over here and I will say role colon. And then here I will say text. So in this specific format, Okay, <coughs> roll colon text. Now let's go ahead and see if everything works fine or not. Okay, and I will go ahead and open my terminal. I'll delete this. Let's see. So we are now displaying perfectly all our details. Uh, this VNV has got activated. I've already shown you in my previous video how to activate VNV environment also. And here we will go ahead and write streamlet run uh, QA chat a chat dot py and let's see if everything works fine or not so it has got executed so here is my things i will say hi how are you and then we will go ahead and ask the question let's see whether we'll get the response the response is i'm a conversational ai chatbot this the chat history is having all the details okay and it is giving chunk by chunk you can see over here right uh let's ask some other question my name is krishnaik okay something oh, krishnaik what is your name okay something like this and i will go ahead and ask the question let's see whether this is getting saved or not okay <coughs> so here you can see how are you this my name is krishnaik what is your name i'm a chatbot assistant i do not have a name bot designed to help users so and so so all the information that i probably type it over here along with the response that is getting recorded in the chat history now this is what i really wanted to show it to you and it was so much easy many people had asked this specific question in my upcoming video what i'm going to specifically do is that i'm going to create a pdf document with the help of gemini api i'll show you different embedding techniques how we can convert a word into vectors and then how we can utilize for a normal document Q&A kind of thing with the help of Gemini API, right? So I hope you like this particular video. This was it from my side. All the information regarding this will be given in the description of this particular video. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.